Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Rad Putarot and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Aries Sun, Aries Moon and as well uh, Aries Rising, a, a general tarot reading for the upcoming week 28th of uh, December up until the 3rd of, uh, of January 2021. Just let me check if that's Truly the, uh, yeah, it's 28th of December 2020 up until the 3rd of January 2021. So uh, hold on a second to shuffle the cards and uh, while doing so, uh, just to remind you guys that if you do want a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, which you're going to find into the description down below. And on the very, very front page, you're going to see a full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the YouTube content and the Facebook content, they are exclus uh, exclusive to one another. So what I do in Facebook, I do not do into YouTube and vice versa. So if you do want to catch me live or have a, a daily tarot guidance, astrology posts as well to read, follow me on Facebook, which uh, link you are going to find into the description down below as well. So with that being said, uh, moving to... Uh, this reading is going to be a little bit different. So here we are going to talk about string. Um, I decided to do it that way uh, because it's kind of like uh, the week it's... How can I say? Well, I just want to try it out. So let's see how it's going to go. So the, uh, the first card of the week here is going to be the Queen of Cups. And that most likely relates to a person that is going to be involved with you, Aries, for, throughout the week. Now, what kind of a uh, interaction with this person you're going to have, we're going to look into uh, with the other cards. But in generally, these kind of people that are marked by the Queen of Cups, they are very attached emotionally. And in this particular case to you, now that doesn't mean that they can be um, emotionally attached in terms of a romance, but they could be. Uh, emotionally attached with you in terms of romance. For what I can say thus far, just having a discard for the week right now, I could say that that could be either your mother or it could be a very good friend of yours or it could be as well somebody that truly loves you and it is outside of your peripheral, uh, it is outside of your life right now and they kind of like wants to prove that you know, they can be a part of your life. Now, with the Queen of Cups that we do have, these people, they are, uh, they are always ready to give you a shoulder to cry on or to lean on as well. They are always willing to give you an, an emotional support moving forward. So suffice to say here, or safe to say for throughout the week, should you feel bad about certain things, okay? Should you feel bad about how situations develop and so on and so forth, you're going to have a faithful companion here that you can share your experience, your poignant experience with them in a sense of verbal sharing. Okay, they, they may not understand you, but they will feel bad for you are feeling bad. That's just for example and will try to emotionally uplift your spirit. These people, they are very... Um, discreet so meaning that whatever you say to them it stands in between you two and the whole purpose of that this person comes up into your week or steps up into your week is uh, to uh, pretty much maintain your emotional balance for the week next card we do have that is to be the page of pentacles and we do have another person here and page of pentacles these people they are uh, that that will take a part within the week as well so the week gets a little bit cramped all right so Page of Pentacles, these people, they are very devoted and uh, their devotion follows worth, okay? So they pretty much, they are devoted to you or to your agenda or to your deeds because they see worth in them, because they see that it is pretty much worth it. Their emotional attachment, it's kind of deep and very stubborn in a sense of that once they do like something, in this particular case, you or the things that you are doing as well for throughout the week, they're going to follow it no matter what, okay, outside of it. Now, Page of Pentacles, these people, should it develop a, a romantic interaction in between you and them? That uh, is probably someone you already know, not probably, but most likely, almost certainly, certainly, I'm sorry, somebody that you do already know. 
uh, someone that you are sharing time with on a regular basis, a friend of yours that had for quite a while now, you know, a, um, how can I say, uh, was feeling more than just a friendship towards you and now in this week they may divulge what kind of an emotions they had experienced towards you. And if I have to link it with the other card, so that's your friend telling you what you, uh, what they feel towards you and that pretty much predisposed that with the friendship is over, you feel bad about it, you share it with the Queen of Cups, which could be community friend of yours, just your mother, like I said, and uh, pretty much that person, the Queen of Cups, supports you emotionally to go through it. Because no matter what you do decide, are you going to make it or break it with the Page of Pentacles, friendship ends. Uh, one more thing about the Page of Pentacles, these people, they are very slow, but by all means, they are not retards, right? Just don't, um, don't mistake one for another. They are slow because they are overly meticulous. They want everything to, to play out in a certain way. And if it is slightly taking off the chart, okay, they are slowing down so they can fix whatever is going off the chart and, and, and pretty much to represent their uh, imagination or to represent their presumption of how things should work moving forward. Next card we do have for you that is going to be the Six of Wands here for the weekend. Six of Wands predisposed that you are going to have peak of experiences. You are going to be recognized as the person, as the liberator, for example, as the man for, or the woman for the job, as the one who have established the milestones. That is going to bring you uh, in the week kind of like rewards, recognition as well. And in general, it's going to make you feel like you are the MVP. Uh, six of Wands also attracts, uh, the energy of the Six of Wands also attracts people. Uh, it's, it's kind of like not exactly mighty people or organizations. And I'll try to explain you how it works here again with an example. Uh, say you are developing something, you are an indie publisher. Say you are an IT and you are developing some kind of a code that you are alone are developing it and you're just putting out demo, people to see. And somebody sees the code, a big organization sees the code and says, oh my God, we gotta got that guy, okay? We gotta have that guy on our team. They approach you, recognize you, give you a very fat compensation for the code, for example, and for you working for them. And this is how things are to move forward. But in any case, should we talk about career or relationship with the Six of Wands, you definitely are gonna have an amazing time there. And uh, in a relation with the, with the previous two cards here, I do believe that the divulgement of the Six of Pen, of the uh, Page of Pentacles, I'm sorry, intentions and devotion, and especially if it is about emotional connect, connection, is gonna make you feel very, very good. Uh, the way that I can see this thing playing, especially for those that have been single for very, very long time ago, it is that uh, some kind of a long in love interest appears a love interest that you had, like I said, up until this point in the friendship zone, and now you are you are not feeling bad because you don't like the guy or the woman, you feel bad because we, the friendship is pretty much over. Moving next, we do have the seven of uh, the uh, nine of wands here. So with the nine of wands moving forward, it seems that towards the end of the week, you're gonna start drawing from, um, previous and past experiences here, as that is the continuation to the peak of experiences as you do have, but this is where things stop, all right? That's just a milestone with the Six of Wands. From there, you have to push yourself even harder to, uh, to meet the expectations and to live up to what people vouch for you or to what people put as a promise in you. And with, this, you, and with the Nine of Wands here, that is where you put everything 
you have learned, everything you have mastered, everything you have observed as well previously in terms of career or in terms of relationship so you can live up to the expectations, so you can pretty much meet up the demands of the situation itself. Now, don't get me wrong here, Aries, a lot is gonna be riding on you. I mean, people or one specific individual is going to place a great, great hopes in you and they're going to be very disappointed if you, um, if you do not, uh, how can I say, um, fulfill those hopes. You totally can, but uh, in order to do so, you have to tread carefully here and you need to think twice before you act or do something. Uh, Nine of Wands as well, it's a card, but, but I have to have a thought tarot. I don't have right now one into my disposal. I'm here to explain you why. But the uh, Nine of Wands is also the connection in between the sun and the moon, right? And that's it's the connection in between the male and the female um, beginning or prime beginning. So once again, we do have a lead that that is more about relationship than anything else what we do have here. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to make my conclusion. Right now, I'm just describing it uh, generally so you can relate it to your own situation. And uh, the last one that we do have for you, uh, Aries, that is going to be two of wands. So towards the end of the week here, um, it seems that you're gonna be quite pleased and proud of how the things, well, not exactly, well, you could be proud, but I would say pleased and fulfilled of how the week had developed for you. You do have a faithful companion that you can rely on, someone that is devoted to you and recognizes you as the person that they wanna spend time with, that they want to place a great hopes, uh, great hopes into, right? Someone that can get the job done, or someone that can be uh, the uh, how can I say the the perfect match within one relationship connects with you through the nine of wands, like we said. Now that is recognized as a good achievement, okay? With the two of wands, a good achievement that you can have literally everything you can expect from it. Now, with the two of wands, however, uh, this isn't, once again, that is a confirmation that this isn't where the things end, but just on the contrary, that is where the things actually begin. For, yeah, it's a good achievement, but you haven't even scratched the surface in terms of how big potential that could reach. So, yeah, while it is a good achievement, you have to start thinking of, by the end of the week, how to expand it even further. And now my personal thoughts on those cards in terms of string, I do believe that someone is gonna show up or step up throughout the week that truly is going to express their true opinion or true emotions towards you. Somebody that will say, for example, I love you or I wanna make business with you because you are the person. And uh, bit by bit, you know, you're gonna allow that person to enter in your life, first of all, with the, uh, first with the small steps out there, right? Uh, instead of just opening your world uh, straight away for them. Uh, that is because you wouldn't want to end up disappointment, disappointed. That's why I said with the Nine of Wands that you are to tread carefully here. Drawing from the past experience that you do have probably with poignant relationships or a failed business uh, maneuvers. And uh, as time progresses throughout the week, you are to see that actually this person is genuine. And from there, you are going to start thinking about how big potential you do have. You know, you can end up married, you can end up uh, making a very, very good and lucrative business and so on and so forth. So that is the story ends with to be continued for you. So that being said, there is, uh, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys for December 28th to um, January 1st, 2020, uh, January 3rd, I'm sorry, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.